It's all ready. Just, just all you need to hold it. Not going to extemporize tonight. <laughs> you see this shirt? I Two do. interesting things about this shirt. One, I got it about 23 years ago. Wow. I thought about that. I thought maybe I need to start updating my wardrobe. <laughs> but that's not relevant. The second thing about this shirt that is re relevant to my speech tonight is that I got it in India. Hmm. And the reason fellow Toastmasters and honored guests that that is relevant is that, is that I believe it is a good idea to buy things when you're traveling. Mm -hmm. I don't mean a ton of things, but buy some things that are memories from your trip. I want to tell you why, but first I'll tell you a little story. When I met my now husband, Todd, years ago, he saw that in my apartment I had a lot of artwork and a lot of uh, hanging on the wall and on my mantle, and he said, you got those things from all your travels? And I said, Yes, and he said, wasn't it kind of a hassle to bring these things home and stuff them in your suitcase, and wasn't it heavy? And I said, yeah, sometimes it was a little bit cumbersome, but it was worth it because then I got home and I had these great memories of my trip in addition to my photos. I thought, hmm, you know what? That's a good idea. He said, he said, he wished that he had done it in his travels. Well, now that we've traveled a lot together, we've bought a lot of things together, and we have a lot of good memories around our house. So I'm going to start with this shirt. I mentioned that I got it in India. When I was in India, I loved what the women wore, some of the women. One thing I really loved were the saris, this beautiful cloth. It's all those colors and the gold and the silver, so beautiful. But I wasn't going to buy a sari. I just didn't think I was going to come back to Oakland and be showing off my sari. It probably wasn't going to happen. And you do have to think about that when you think about buying clothes in another country. You may love it there, but you may not wear it when you get back home. But this, on the other hand, I saw a lot of women wearing shirts like this. I had an embroidery like this, and I loved them. And I thought, that I would wear. So I bought it. And this leads me to my first reason. When you buy something in another country, it's not always, or in another, it doesn't have to be another country. It could be another city. It's not just a piece of clothing or a piece of art. Sometimes it's a piece of culture. You don't see too many people in Oakland wearing shirts like this, but in India, a lot of women at that time, 23 years ago, were wearing shirts like this. So it's part of the culture. When I put this on, I think about that. I think about the fact that so many women that I saw in India were wearing shirts like this. So it brings back, it's like a visceral, tangible memory for me. Okay, so I'm going to pass this around. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pass it around. next item, which is very, very important to my husband and me. And, uh, oh. oh. Okay, I'm just kidding. This actually is I knew she's got to I can't believe this. No, it, it, it comes off, I guess, for packing purposes. This, does anybody know what this is? Armadillo. It's armadillo. Yes, it is an armadillo. It's also called an alegrique. These are hand-carved wooden sculptures from Mexico, specifically from Oaxaca. And you've probably seen them before. They are intricately painted and hand-carved uh, hand uh, out of wood. And this has a great mem memory for my husband and me, and I will pass it around. We got to see the artist making this. And he wasn't done with it yet, but we liked this one. Out of the hundreds, or maybe even the thousands that we saw, this is the one we liked. So we waited for him to finish it. We even asked him if he would paint something in the bottom. That pink says para Todd y Alex, which means for Alex, for Todd and Alex. Mm -hmm. So we waited for him to finish it, and then we were able to directly support him by giving him the money, by giving Fabian the money. That felt really good, and that is my second reason for buying things when you're traveling. That in many cases, you can directly support the artist or the artisan, or in some cases, it's a local business. So I'm going to pass this around. Please don't drop it and don't even pretend to drop it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's okay. okay. So the next thing I want to show you is this. Can you see that? Doesn't that look like, a, okay, you said it's, yes. You said, no, no, I, that's good that you said that. Doesn't it look like a painting from far away? Happy just said that's needlework. When I saw these from afar, I thought, 
they were paintings. Yeah. I really did, because look at how the colors go into each other. I was so taken aback by these and impressed. So one of my main reasons, and I will pass this around as well, one of my, and I actually have the second one I'll pass around here. Um, I was so impressed by these because I'm not kidding, I can barely sew a button on it. <laughs> Let alone think about doing something like this. When I saw these women in Vietnam meticulously sewing these and making these embroidered pieces, I was just, I was just, I was just taken by. I could have watched them for hours. I have one of these hanging on our wall at home, and it's of a place in Vietnam called Ha Long Bay, where I spent a night, very uncomfortable night, but it was still a good memory, <laughs> on the deck of a boat. And so when I look at that on the wall, and when I look at the armadillo on our mantle, and when I wear this shirt, and this leads me to my third reason that I think it's nice to buy things when you travel, it brings back multiple layers of memories for me. I think about the artist who was making it. I think about the place I was watching it be made. I think about the representation of Halong Bay, which is where I spent some time. So pictures, and I absolutely believe in taking hundreds, if not thousands of pictures, because we can. Click, click, click these days. We can take as many as we want, right? I believe in that. But sometimes, having things like this can bring back those multi-layered memories that a photo can't. So, I want to point out to you that something that's important is that I'm not telling you to bring an empty suitcase with you and just pack it full of hundreds of dollars worth of stuff. And by the way, I did not spend hundreds of dollars on these things. Mm -hmm. But I am saying that when you're traveling, if something moves you, or if you think this will bring back memories of my trip, buy it. Stuff it in your suitcase. Even if it's a shot glass from Vegas, or a, <laughs> it could be a stuffed animal from Disneyland. It doesn't matter what it is. Bring it home, because then when you get home, unzip your suitcase and open it and you see all that dirty laundry that you are not excited <laughs> to wash. You will also have a couple things in there that you can take out and you can hang, or you can put on your mantle, or you can put on your person, and it could bring back memories that sometimes photos cannot. Mm -hmm. Happy travels, happy buying, and happy packing. Mm -hmm. Thank you.